Here's one for you to try. Uh, it says, the room numbers of two adjacent classrooms are consecutive even numbers. If their sum is 654, find the classroom numbers. All right, so pause the video, see if you can do that on your own, and then we'll compare notes. Okay, so we have two classrooms, right? So they're next to each other. So an example of this might be, um, let's see, two adjacent classrooms are consecutive even numbers. So maybe this is like 134 and 136. That would be two consecutive even numbers. We don't know what they are, though. But we do know that if we call the first one x, then the next one has to be two more than it. No matter what the first one is, if they're consecutive even numbers, the next closest even number up is just two more. So 134 plus 2 is 136, but no matter where we started, remember these are just, I was just guessing, they're arbitrary, but no matter what we start with, x, the second one, the next one is going to be x plus 2. Okay, so we have our first and second, x and x plus 2, and it says their sum is 654. Sum means add, so what we're saying is if we add the first, so here's the first, plus second x plus 2. Well, if we add those together, we get 654. Okay, well now it's, it's just some pretty straightforward algebra. We'll combine like terms. So that gives us 2x plus 2 is 654. Subtract the 2. 2x is 652. And finally divide both sides by 2 to get x equals 326. Okay, so it's tempting to just stop there because we solved for x, but remember in word problems you always want to go back and make sure you've actually answered the question. So let's see here. It says find the classroom numbers. Numbers. Okay, so the first one, so let's, let's do out you know, a nice answer to this. The first one is 326. That's our x, and the next one is x plus 2. The next consecutive integer from there is 328. And there are the two consecutive even classroom numbers.